What's up guys, today's episode is jam packed with drops and 99s. I had quite a bit of recording so today's video is going to be a bit different. I'm going to speed run you guys through the past few days and catch you up for what's to come. Also if I catch YouTube up I won't feel guilty streaming it due to spoilers. If you are following the series, a like on the video goes a long way towards feeding my Alaskan turtle in the Caribbean as well as my Siberian llama found in the eastern, northern, western Alps. So for sure like the video. For the animals, come on. With all that said, let's cop a 99 real quick. Dude, someone logged in. I had to swap worlds and jump over to this one real quick, dude. Oh my goodness. That was sketch. I don't even know if, uh, I don't know if lo-fi is the right music for this right now. Holy. Bro, why are people such savages for a hunter, bro? Let me get my chinchampas and get out, baby. <laughs> Looks like we average out about seven mil per hour. Seven or nine mil was probably a uh, bust, but there you have a 99 hunter achieved 125 league points in this wilderness. Let me out! Let me out! So we made it out of the wilderness. We hit the 99 hunter, and finally we got the thousand black chinchampas. We are gonna throw these on for boom another 125 lead points for equipping a thousand black chinchampas let me go grab that hunter's cape and we will throw that into the bank with the rest of them oh 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 we are climbing we are climbing costly item uh certainly i'm happy to pay that and boom we got our 99 hunter cape baby let's get it now once i had those chins in hand you know I had to go put those bad boys to use. And the first place we headed was to neck reels. And that's 92. Okay, we got our first superior. And we're kind of just going in with the blowpipe, honestly. About to be dead. The blowpipe just destroys, bro. Dark totem middle, rune med down. Nothing crazy from the spear, but not bad. In just one second. Evil Bob, get out of here, Evil Bob. That's 93 range, baby. Bob can shove it, bro. I'm getting levels, baby. Just give me one second. And there is 90, 94, sorry. I keep messing up my, my numbers here. <laughs> 94 range, 95 is on the horizon, though. There's 95. You can see the 10k drops, 11k. That is 96 range right there. It pops instantly because I was obviously in a fight with a bunch of people, but. Oh, wait, it says minus four. Wait, what? <laughs> uh. Okay, so my Slayer Helm says I only have two more to go. So I'm gonna trust my Slayer Helm on this one. There we go. Okay, task complete. 177 neck rolls. So I decided to stay until 97 range, and there it is. Um, I only had like a few more chinchampas, and I was really close. I was like, might as well just use these. Once I was done with chins, I headed out to the wilderness. I had the bandosian mite, 
the Vagoro's Chain Mace, which is probably one of the best crush weapons that you can get in the game, for the wilderness at least. And I had a little fun with a few of the bosses out there. Okay, so we got a rev task. We are over here. We just hit a 43-23. Um, I'm going to test some hits out on these revs. We just hit 92 attack. Very nice. And that was the first night down, and he gave us the double play leg, the dragon play leg drop. Wow, that was the first thing I killed down here. Big W. So we're going to venture down here and keep looking for good loot. A 55 wait a minute okay so 55 is not the highest I've ever seen but I mean you can see that oh, okay there you go it just gets cranked like absolutely destroyed so I got my first superior and I literally asked everybody in the cave if it was okay if I took it like they wouldn't crash me so I do believe I get to kill this solo I am destroying this thing I just hit a 51 53 dude and there's like a group over to the south just kind of chilling. It's so sick. Everyone's just vibing, waiting. I'm so, so happy everyone just kind of like chilled and waited. Let's go. We got an ancient emblem. We got coal. We got 46. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Like I just killed him so, so fast. It is a blast. This is a drop I didn't know they had. Five magic seeds. Wow. So we just hit 94 attack. Um, I started killing some dark beasts to see maybe if I uh, can get some better drops. I might head over to dragons. It looks like dragons has like the best drop rates for everything. And for some reason it shows that the revenant dragon has the best drop for it between the knight and the dragon and then the obviously the superior but superior is going to be a little bit more difficult to get to <laughs> so i think i'm going to head over to the dragon so i decided to just kill everything as i was running by and there you go i got an ancient crystal from that one let's go all right i'm just going to keep going through and kind of killing everything for reference that uh that ancient crystal is used in the home construction to build the obelisk at your house so once i do uh a construction bump we will put an obelisk in my house with that ancient crystal very cool so we got a second superior and one of the homies in the in the dungeon just let me uh skull off him so i'm gonna get like the extra buff Oh, we are looking good. This could be huge. Last couple hits coming in. What do you got for me? Ancient totem. Very nice. Nothing too crazy otherwise. Not too bad. Not too bad. You can't fortify with it. Oh, so I need the amulet no matter what, even if I'm skulled. But we did just advance to Slayer level seven, er, 96. And we got the Ancient Totem. Very nice, very nice. Hey, hey, hey. I just got a Genie's Lamp and I used it on Runecrafting. We just got up to 70 Runecrafting. I did just hit Bandosian Light level 3. So now it should hit even harder. 51 to start. 55-3. I know we can hit harder though. Give me the big hit. 45-11. You can hit so much harder than that. 43-26 for 95 attack. Thank you. 53-34. This is coming up on... 96 attack there it is while wow, i'm at the rep cave <laughs> you're gonna see a few clips from the rep cave i love you here dude i'm just kind of vibing all right boys i rolled out to the wilderness i was thinking callisto but uh i ran into uh this guy <laughs> so we're gonna kill <laughs> you know vet you know, vet on a few times and uh and maybe get a drop <laughs> he's obviously extremely excited to <laughs> fight me <laughs> Okay, what do you say? I turn on recording for this end of this kill.
and you drop me something nice. Big bones. All right. Oh no, it's 17k. Hey yo. <laughs> We're just kind of destroying it now. Some magic logs. Very nice. Okay, during this kill, we're coming in on 96 attack, I believe. Oh, but this one's in a. He's kind of hurting me up, hello. A little bit extra on this one. <coughs> so, if you've never fought that young. That y'all. <laughs> if you never fought this guy, you do have to kill the hellhounds and then go back and kill the boss. And it does have two phases where it uh, swaps over to like a second full HP bar. It's a pretty cool mechanic. I don't think there's really many bosses like this. There is 97 attack. Looking good. He kind of ran away for a second there. I will see you at the end of this kill. Rip. 250 cannonballs. The cannonballs I'll actually use in this can store just came in and out of nowhere, bro. Get out of my face. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Dude, I'm just like going in on this boss and stuff, and this chaos store just came in and he's like, yeah, guys, let's fucking get this guy, bro. What is this guy doing, bro? Get out of my face. You're not a boss. You're not a part of this boss. Get out of here, demon. <laughs> the chaos store is just like trolling me. He came up like nine times. He's like, hell yeah, I'm with the boss, baby. Get off my, get off my boss, dude. See, is that guy about to walk over here? I will, I will destroy you. I'm about to go end this whole chaos dwarf colony over here. Uncut ruby, uncut diamond, scroll box, elite. Not too bad, not too bad. So as you saw, I was not getting anything from any of the bosses or slash monsters from the wilderness. So, I decided to pay my good old boy, Mr. Bando's boss, a visit, the general himself, and I was really hoping he would show me some love. And this happened. Unidentified fragment? That's probably gonna just bump one of my, uh, one of my relics I have, but it's still kinda cool. Alright, let's see, uh, what it was. Zamoraki and Sight upgrade, very nice, actually. Those are actually huge because if I can get Zamorak in sight to 3, that is 250% increased accuracy in mage. That's going to be OP. But this thing is hitting like a truck, dude. Let's uh, let's try and get some maxes here. We're killing bandos so quick, I'm just gonna speed run some of these drops. Um, I just did five, we got nothing, so uh, I'm just gonna do the next five with just either speedy clips unless I get something good. <laughs> I will see you after the next couple kills. Nothing. 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 Oh my god! Bro! It's not nothing. It's not nothing. Oh my god. We are done with Bandos. Equipped a full Bandos armor set. 250 league points. We are literally completely done with Bandos. We are wearing full Bandos. Ugh. Unless I want to stay for the pet. Let's go. Kill 136 for the full Bandos. Oh my god. Let's go, boys. Let's go! Boys, we look like an absolute beast right now. 
Oh my god, this is what this allows me to do. I now still have Bandosian Might plus my Slayer Helm. We are gonna crank, bro. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, guys. We are feeling so good. I'm gonna go uh, test this out on a few things, but uh, let's go. Oh my god, I was not recording. Dude, I just hit a 70-72. I wanted to come test this at Callisto, and I just demolished this. I was gonna go to spec, but I hit a 70-72, like, before I could even spec. Holy cow. I might just eliminate this thing. I don't want to use my spec, because, yeah, I think it's gonna die right away anyways. But that 70-72 also helped a ton. Snapdragon seeds, very nice. And a looting bag. Wait, I lost my looting bag. Hilarious. Now I can put those both in the looting bag. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> you just crank 71s though, which is a very, very nice. It was like an 8k XP drop. I just realized I was so hype about the BCP, the Bandos chest plate, that I turned off the music because I saw it on the ground and I was in like disbelief. It's like no way. We're doing pretty well. Coins. I'm excited to go back to revs with the Slayer Helm and then uh, Pagora's Chain Mace with a, a damage book. 67.45! Oh my god. That is a 112. Out of prayer. Almost out of food. Not out of luck. Oh, baby. Unka Ruby, Unka Diamond Drop. I came over to give uh, Seracnus a few more runs. See if I can get the cudgel. And it is going extremely quick with Bandosi and my and the gods who are just smacking. Um, so I'm gonna kill this a few times and then we'll go from there. Maybe I get the cudgel, maybe I don't. I just want to uh, test this Bandosi and might out. <laughs> Man, we are just demolishing this thing. I don't have to eat or anything. It's actually just kind of insane. Hey, there we go. Inspect repellent. I got to eat another one. I don't know what the moon pages are for, but uh, I'm not really picking those up because I don't know uh, quite what those are for. <laughs> On kill 54, we did get an unidentified fragment. I'm not sure what this could be. I would have to look at this arachnus drops, but this could be a new one. I'm going to save it in my inventory until I'm done with these. I'll probably do like six more, something like that. And then uh, we will check it out. 5766. Oh my goodness. What we're looking for out of this fragment is thrall damage. That's what we really want that to be. Ooh, a nice little dragon meth helm drop. Very cool. I just hit an 89 with my bando spec. This one's going to get demolished. <clears throat> 57 48 dead just like instantly oh my goodness another one oh my god all right fam we got two fragments from that please one of them be thrall damage thrall damage it was the first one let's go okay we got thrall damage what is this one gonna be? Oh, okay, it's just a thrall damage upgrade, but still, we got thrall damage. Let's go! Okay, we'll have to play around if I want to level that up with this, but that is so nice. Let's go finish this uh, Seracnus run. Yeah, buddy, we got a new another giant egg sack that is um, gonna be used for Herbalore, so that's very, very nice. So... <clears throat> I just completed a hard task of kill Seracnus 75 times. Still no cudgel. Sadly, we are we are feeling sad that I'm not getting this cudgel, but 7164.
This setup is just insane. We are destroying this thing, man. I tell you guys what. <clears throat> Feels good. Feels good hitting crazy numbers just consistently. Oh, I just realized my prayer ran out. That's why. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay here until probably I get the cudgel. I will see you guys in the next clip. Hopefully me saying I got the cudgel. <laughs> Yo, I got another giant egg sack. And there's another hundred giant or deadly red spider eggs. It's not too shabby actually. We got another unidentified combat fragment as well as a crystal key. Very cool. The crystal key, I'm just gonna try and uh, bump into an enhanced crystal key. Ninety six, ninety seven, back to back unidentified fragments. Very nice. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about my HP right now, but holy, we're at ninety eight. I'm gonna go do two more, and then here we are. We got special discount upgrade, thrall damage upgrade. Okay, so I think those are just about done. I'm pretty sure the next couple I get, I'll max special discount, and then. Thrall damage probably also get maxed out here shortly. Let's do these last two and hopefully I get the cudgel. Coming in on kill number 100 here. Hoping for something nice here. Still no cudgel. But is it here? RIP. That is 100 Seracnus kills. That is another task done. 50 weak points. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep doing Seracnus, but I really feel like I'm close to the cudgel, so I might just do 20 more and then, uh, we'll call it there. Or, well, maybe just come back, like, at another time, but it's looking rough on the, on the luck here for Seracnus. I just did, uh, I would say, like, 50 kills. I think I literally just did a full 50 kills. Not sure what I started with, but I'm pretty sure I got to the 50 task and I just did the other 50. So super quick, super easy. That took me like maybe an hour to do all the, the other 50. So I might just do 50 more and try for that cudgel still, but I'm having a lot of fun. I came back over to Stragnus. I feel like I'm going to get lucky. You're going to give me the cudgel. Ah. RIP. We continue. We got another giant egg sack. Still no cudgel. We're at 114. From that last trip, we did get another fragment and another egg sack. So we are going to check this fragment. Thrall damage buff. That's okay. We'll definitely take the speed run of thrall damage if we can get the, the fragments to help buff that. Bunch of other miscellaneous stuff for scaling later on, but still no cudgel, bro. I'm about to look up the odds on this because I feel like I should have this already. Okay, that was a uh, 120 Seracnus. Um, I looked it up and it's actually not boosted. So the cudgel is one in 384. So I'm actually not even close. But I did have a lot of fun killing that. So I think once I max out my uh, combat stats, I might go give that another run and just see if I can like two shot it or something. Or depending on like if I get better weapons or something, I can go back and just try again because i was going so quick like no joke that took like uh probably like an hour and 30 minutes for 70 kills maybe less probably like maybe an hour and 15 minutes and i was having a good time thrall damage uh was doing pretty well thank you so much for getting all the way through the video if you did get through the video please leave a little buh in that comment section below if i know you're an og i know you're gonna drop it baby if you guys do want to help me with the youtube algorithm a like a comment maybe a subscription it is free it all goes a long way with the channel and it all goes a long way with helping bump that algorithm to get this video out there baby guys thank you so much for watching episode four will be up shortly i would say two to three days I have been basically holding out on playing since uh, this video hasn't been posted. So I've just been AFKing while I'm editing and ish like that. But as you can see in my inventory, we're going to start that next episode off hot with an enhanced crystal key opening. 
I have about 35 keys. We're looking for some Dragonstone armor, maybe an Uncut Onyx. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking the video. And don't forget to turn on those notifications to get notified for episode 4. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!